it comes to learning about narcissism, narcissistic personality, people that we have dealt with within our lives, toxic people within our lives, we can often think, mm, I've behaved in that way. We can often question, perhaps I'm the one that is the narcissistic one. We are all more than capable of behaving in narcissistic ways. Even narcissistic individuals are capable of controlling this behaviour depending on who they are around. However, narcissists tend to rewrite it in their head as to why they are in the right, why it's the other person's fault, why they're entitled, why they're the victim, why everybody's out to get them why nothing's ever their fault, whereby a victim is usually more, what can I do to improve? What have I done to offend this person? How can I change? How can I be a better person? More often than not, when learning about the disorder, we do often question if we are the narcissistic one. And usually this is a pretty good sign that you're not the narcissistic one. Because narcissistic individuals don't question themselves. They question all those around them. It's everybody else's fault and never their own. Identifying whether you were the narcissist in a relationship or not can be challenging, especially when you're de dealing with a manipulative person. There are several indicators that show that you weren't the narcissist or you're not the narcissist. Now, narcissistic individuals might claim that they have these, but deep down you will know whether or not you have them. And one of the first of these is empathy and compassion. You can consistently show genuine concern, genuine empathy, genuine compassion towards others, demonstrating your ability to understand and share the feelings of others. Narcissistic individuals typically lack empathy. They can't relate to other people. They can't see how horrific something can be. Now we can all shut ourselves off from horrific things because it brings out that depression within us when we get too much sort of negative stories. Um, it, it can negatively impact us to the point where we can't function, we wonder what the purpose is, we become depressed. So we can, also, we can all have the potential to shut off sort of outside stories that we can't help with. We can all have the potential to go all out in a cause to try and help stop other people suffering. Narcissists will use this to their advantage so that they can exploit those people. Accountability. Being able to take responsibility for your own actions, being able to apologise and make amends when you're in the wrong, and more often than not, if you've dealt with a narcissistic person, you will find yourself saying sorry for things that you shouldn't even be apologising for, yet believing that you're the problem. You will find yourself apologising way too much to people. And you might hear people say to you, what are you saying sorry for? And it's been programmed into you to apologise, to take the blame, to take the responsibility. Narcissists often refuse to accept any form of responsibility. They just shift the blame onto anyone and everyone else for their shortcomings. They find a scapegoat to pin the blame onto because nothing is ever their fault. So if you can take responsibility for who you are as a person, your mistakes, your behaviours, if you say something and then think, oh, was that gaslighting? I didn't mean to gaslight them. And then you're able to actually recognise that behaviour. We can all be in a situation where we know full well somebody said something. We've even got the evidence on our phone and they're telling us that they never said it. And we're saying, yes, you did. And then you show an narcissist the evidence and then they go, wow. Didn't realise we had to save everything to use against each other. Or, wow, you've been through my things. They twist it and turn it 
onto you at every given opportunity. And you can feel like you're the narcissistic one when dealing with a narcissistic behaviour because how they manipulate your reality is the methods that you will then say to try and show them and prove that they're lying. So you can feel like you're the narcissistic one. And if you feel like the narcissistic one, you're usually not. Respecting other people's boundaries. Narcissists feel entitled to do as they please. They have no respect for other people's boundaries. These are just a game for them to take down, a challenge, a bit of fun. And they go all out to manipulate people. Narcissists go all out to violate other people's boundaries, seeking that control. And they will go all out to manipulate other people's boundaries to get their needs met. If you can respect other people's boundaries, yes, we can all be offended. When you've done oh so much for someone and you say, hey, can you just help me out with this? And they turn around and say no. We can all think, ah, hang on a minute. Especially if we don't think it's that big or it's going to be that much out of their way. But then we usually have the empathy to sort of recognise we don't know what's going on in their life. I can just ask somebody else. Yes, we can all potentially guilt trip unintentionally, now and again, with a narcissist. It's a permanent pattern of behaviour. It's who they are. Consistent behaviour. Now, when you're around a narcissist, you might find your behaviour becoming more irrational and inconsistent because some people are hell-bent on bringing the worst out in you. But if your behaviour is usually genuine and predictable, if you promise to do something and you follow through on those promises, unless extreme circumstances happen like you're delayed in traffic or your money fails to hit the bank account, but then you, you go and work to come good on your word, Narcissists just gaslight and claim, I never said that. Narcissists often display erratic and unpredictable behaviour. You never know where you're sta you stand with them. They swing between idolising you and devaluing you. And yes, people can have sort of mood swings, but you get to know the patterns. Things like hormones play a big part in this. So it's down to hormones and not personality. Having mutual respect. When you have that mutual respect for other people, you're more than likely not a narcissistic individual. Narcissists respect no one. They seek relationships that feed their ego and validate their sense of superiority rather than those based on mutual respect and equality. Now, you can be very respectful of people and treat people very well. And then you can also respect how dangerous and toxic a narcissist is and take a side step away from them. Genuine, authentic relationships. When you try to form and maintain genuine relationships based on emotional connections and compassion and accountability and healthy boundaries and consistent behaviour, you're more than likely not a narcissist. Narcissists use people for their own personal gain. And once they've used somebody up and bled them dry, they move on to a new source of supply. Self-reflection. When you can engage in self-reflection, where you're open and honest with who you are and your behaviour and question yourself and work to improve yourself, work on growth, work on self-improvement, more often than not, you're not a narcissist. Narcissistic individuals rarely to never engage in genuine self-reflection. They're very resistant to change. They only change temporarily in order to manipulate someone. They already believe they're superior. They don't believe they're the problem. They think you're the problem. And then, yes, you can feel like you're narcissistic when you begin to recognise that you're not the problem. It was actually them that does not make you a narcissist narcissists genuinely believe that they're either the victim or the hero in this situation nothing is ever their fault if you go around thinking oh if i hadn't have done this and if i hadn't have done that you're looking for the answers you're looking for the self-improvement narcissists go around going if they hadn't have done this and if you hadn't have done that it's always somebody else's fault recognizing these traits within yourself can help affirm that you weren't the narcissist in the relationship and support your journey towards healing 
and further personal growth. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterUp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have several books out on Amazon. 15 Rules to Deal with Narcissistic People if you cannot go no contact, a narcissist handbook which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, how to create boundaries around those who have no respect for your boundaries and the new book which is out now which is the hilarious and horrifying memes and meanings to give you more understanding of narcissistic and emotional abuse. They'll be in the description also if you'd like to go and check those out. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.